Hi and welcome to my maths class. Today we are doing a summary on trig graphs. Now the first thing you had learned was how to draw a graph. The standard graph is f of x is equal to a sin theta plus q. Now remember when I'm talking of standard sin could be cos or tan. Now what does a do to your graph? A multiplies your y-axis. What does Q do? It adds to your y-axis. So when you're drawing number one, you're going to use your mother graph. You need to know the standard points of all your mother graphs. So when we're drawing the graphs, what we're doing is we're making an adjustment to the y-axis. So if it's in front, then I would multiply to the y. But if it's at the back and it's adding, then I'm going to add to the y. Now let's draw a few graphs. If we take y is equal to 2 sin theta plus 2. Now you have your original table. What do you do? Remember, at all times, board mass is important because here you have the option of multiplying by 2 and adding by 2. What you're going to do is you're going to first multiply and then you're going to add. So 0 times 2 is 0, 1 times 2 is 2, 0 times 2 is 0, minus 1 times 2 is minus 2, 0 times 2 is 0. Now we are going to add 2. So we now have 2, 4, 2, 0, and 2. When we're drawing the graph, we are going to use this x value and the last y value that we added. Okay, so we know that our highest point is 4. So we're going to go 1, 2, 3, 4. Our coordinates for x are going to be 90, 180, 270, 360. This is our zero point. So we're going to first plot 0 and 2. So x is 0, y is 2. Then we're pressing 90 and 4. So x is 90, y is 4. Then we've got 180 and 2. So x is 180, y is 2. Then we have 270 and 0. Then we have 360 and 2. And then it's a matter of joining the dots. When you doing graphs. When we are busy with A, we are multiplying with Y. But when we are busy with Q, we are adding to Y. Y is equal to, let's say, minus 2 cos x plus 1. Now what is my change? First, board mass. I'm going to multiply by minus 2. So what do I have? Here I have minus 2, 0, positive 2, 0, and negative 2. Remember we are multiplying by negative 2 because the question states minus 2 cos x plus 1. Now after that, I'm going to add my 1. So to this, I'm adding 1. 0 plus 1 is 1. 2 plus 1 is 3. 0 plus 1 is 1. Minus 2 plus 1 is minus 1. Right, so what do we have? Our coordinates that we are plotting. Remember, our x value and our y value will be what we had edited. So now when we are drawing, we are going to plot 0 and minus 1. Then we're going to plot 90 and 1, 180 and 3. Then we have 270 and 1. And then we have 360 and minus 1. And then again, it's a matter of joining the dots. 
and there's your graph. So remember, multiply by y, add to y. Okay, now for our last graph, let's say we're doing y is equal to 3 tan theta minus 3. Okay, now when we're looking at the tan graph, we are still busy with the mother graph. And what are we doing? Timesing by 3, subtracting 3. So we're going to times by 3. So we have 0, 3, and asymptote is still going to stay. Minus 3, 0, 3, again an asymptote, minus 3, and 0. Then we are going to subtract 3. Do you realize what the asymptote? I'm just leaving it out because the asymptote is not affected. An asymptote is consistent. The only time it will be affected is when you start filling with x. But right now your asymptote is just going to remain an asymptote. So our final answer is minus 3, 0. And then we have an asymptote, minus 6, minus 3, 0. Asymptote, minus 6, minus 3. So what are we going to plot? We are going to plot the x-axis and our new value for y. Okay, now, with this here, we need to go up to minus 6. So if we got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. But remember, it's down, so we are negative. And then, this way here, we still got our 0, 45. Okay, so, let us plot now. We have 0 and minus 3. Then we have 45 and 0. Then on 90, we have an asymptote. 135 and minus 6. Then we have 180 and minus 3. We have 225 and 0. And we have an asymptote again. Then we have 315 and minus 6. And we have 360 and minus 3. Now how do we draw it? You know a standard tan graph. Looks like that. So you're going to do more or less the same thing, but your points had moved. So I'm going to still look similar, but I'm just starting at a different point. If you look here, And then here you are going down till forever. And if you look at this point, it's this part here. And there you've done your graph. The drawing looks very similar. Just what you've done is, where it usually starts there, we've now moved it down. And whereas in your point is usually 3 high, whereas in, in this case it should have been a 3, 45 and 3, it's moved 3 down. Like if you take this one here, it should have been on 180 and 0, but it's moved 3 down. So your points have all literally moved 3 down. That would emphasize on this. And why am I working with 3 and not 1 like I do in a mother graph? Because they started with 3. Thank you for watching.